This is your WLCX Daily News Roundup for the Eagle 1490 AM in La Crosse. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Vice President Kamala Harris campaigns in La Crosse today, blaming Donald Trump for rolling back abortion rights in some states. What we are seeing in these states that we are talking about are Trump abortion bans, and he can't get away from that. That's Harris on the campaign trail last week. The latest Marquette poll shows abortion is the number one issue with Wisconsin Democrats. The state of Wisconsin is in good financial shape, according to the latest Wisconsin Policy Forum report. State debt is the lowest in 25 years, and reserves set a record last June. The Policy Forum says Wisconsin is in a good place to pay short-term bills, and the unemployment fund balance has built up again. The report says the state could use more money in its transportation fund. Twelve law enforcement agencies around Wisconsin are splitting almost $2 million in opioid settlement funds. Wisconsin will get more than $750 million of the National Settlement Fund through 2038. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services says some initiatives will help keep opioid addicts out of jail or treat people already in jail. One person is dead and nine others are recovering from injuries after a car collided with a county bus in Milwaukee Saturday night. A passenger in the car died instantly. Two other people went to the hospital with serious injuries. Seven people on the bus were hurt, but not badly. Last we knew, Milwaukee police were looking at charging the driver of the car. Today is Earth Day. The theme for the day is Planet versus Plastic. Plastic production is ramping up around the world. It's projected to triple by 2050 if nothing changes. Most plastic is made from fossil fuels and chemicals. This week, thousands of negotiators representing most of the world's nations gather in Ottawa, Canada to work out a treaty to try to reduce plastic pollution. North America might be in for another smoky summer. Dr. Bruce Snyder is with the Health Professionals for a Healthy Climate. He says climate change is fueling hotter and drier summers, raising the risk of wildfires. And when that happens, people have more respiratory disease, people have chronic lung disease, tend to get sicker. So there's a lot of downstream consequences. And insects that carry disease thrive in warmer weather. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. Happy Monday, Cooley Region. I'm Jimmy Kuska for your look at news here in southwestern Wisconsin here on WLCX, which is 1490 The Eagle and lacrosseeagle.com. Vice President Kamala Harris will visit lacrosse today. Harris is campaigning in support of abortion rights and health care, according to a release from the White House. She'll also discuss the economy at another event in the area. It's the third time that Harris has visited Wisconsin this year and the seventh time she's been here during her time as VP. She was in Madison last month and in Waukesha County in January. President Joe Biden was in lacrosse three years ago. The Cooley region is the center of the third congressional district race, one of the most watched elections nationwide this fall. As of Saturday morning, the Lansing Bridge connecting Crawford County to Iowa is reopened. The 93-year-old bridge was closed for nearly two months for emergency repairs after construction on its replacement shifted two of its piers. Transportation officials said about 2,200 people used the bridge each day, and while the bridge was closed, the Iowa DOT provided a free water taxi service to help people avoid long detours. The replacement bridge is scheduled to open in 2026. The City of La Crosse will review over a dozen proposals for redevelopment of the former South Community Library. The library was closed by the City Council last year and declared the property surplus in February, putting it up for sale at $348,000. Proposals for the 7,200-square-foot building vary. It includes multiple residential projects, as well as a health clinic, a daycare center, office space for various businesses, and a leadership building for Girl Scouts. The City Council will meet on Wednesday to consider the proposals. It's another day of burn bans as high winds and low humidity are creating ideal fire conditions. The DNR said that the past week has been the busiest for wildfires. Most of Wisconsin has very high fire danger, and DNR officials said that people should avoid burning outdoors if they can. In the past week, there have been 74 wildfires in the state, burning over 100 acres. 16 of those fires happened yesterday, including a 25-acre fire in northern Trempolo County. Coming up on Wednesday is the 3rd Congressional District Democratic 
primary forum, which will be held in Stevens Point. Our broadcast will be in at 6.30 on Wednesday right here on 1490 The Eagle WLCX. Take us with you anywhere you go on the free Civic Media app. Go to civicmedia.us slash app and find us in your device's app store today. This has been your look at news in southwestern Wisconsin for WLCX, 1490 The Eagle, and lacrosseeagle.com. I'm Jimmy Cuska. Have a great day, everybody. The Brewers sweep the Cardinals. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. The Brewers and the Cardinals scoreless in the top of the seventh when Owen Miller, raised in Wisconsin, came to the plate. Jeff Levering with the call on Bally Sports. Line drive base hit Owen Miller. That'll score two. The local kid, Owen Miller, delivers for the Brewers. Went back to the sweeper, and Miller, with his first hit of the season, drives in a pair. The Brewers held on to win 2-0 to nothing to take three in a row in St. Louis. Miller says at first they threw nothing but curveballs. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to get something out that I can handle. Um, yeah, like you said, he was he was pretty good today. Uh, just mixed it up, um, kind of just was moving it around the zone and keeping us off balance. Um, but, you know, when when there was a position that we could score some runs, um, you know, I'm glad I could come up big there and, and uh, just get a piece of it and, and shoot it out to left. The crew opens a four-game set tonight in Pittsburgh. NBA, Damian Lillard scoring 35 points in the first half to lead the Bucks to a decisive 109-94 to win over the Pacers. Lillard on winning game one of the seven-game playoff series. I think anytime you just you come out and you're able to, to get that first one off the board, I think you gain a little bit of confidence from it because um, you know, all right, we got it. We got it done. We're not playing from behind. Uh, so it's important to do that and also take care of home court. Game two, seven o'clock tomorrow night at Five Surf Forum with sports. I'm Mike Clemens. Mostly cloudy and windy today with a scattered shower or two possible by late this afternoon into this evening. Our high 67, the wind out of the south at 15 to 25, gusting to 35. Tonight, 46. Tomorrow, scattered shower or thunder shower. Otherwise, partly cloudy, 64. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Current temperature, 44. That's your WLCX Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at lacrosseagle.com.